in this story of Jesus Christ, we're going to examine it quickly in the book of John chapter 12, John Gospel chapter 12, the triumphant entry of Christ. There are a lot of things that has happened before Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem. He was a better king. And if you can see from verse 1, six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from the dead. The man he has raised from the dead. He himself is about to drink the cup. He himself is about to be made a sacrificial lamb for the entire world. But something needs to be done and to continue to prove to mankind that he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The man he loved with his sister raised this man after many days from death. Maybe something is there in the inside of you, or physically or spiritually. But you can trust God that is able to awaken, to raise whatever thing that's dead on the inside of you and make it to be alive in Jesus' name. And you cannot see this with your mere eye, but with your spiritual eye. Because with a natural eye, it never going to make sense. It will never make sense. He raised this man from the dead. And here in verse 3, dinner was prepared in Jesus' home. Mark said, These are the same sisters who questioned Jesus. If you had been, if you were here, if you were truly God, in other words, if you're truly who you say you are, this would not have happened. Many of us feel that way at times, but never change the fact that it's still God, and He never fail, and He never change. And here, to have gone this far. 
I don't know what would have made Mary. She did not hand it over to them and say, we understand that you might need this along the way. This might go forward in your ministry in case you need help. But she took this 12 pound jar of this essence oil, or in other words, a pasta oil. And she broke it open and she began to be filled the feet of Christ. The feet of Christ where grace, mercy, Amen. healing, Amen. deliverance, everything is at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary began to pour in that oil at the foot of Christ. And she began to wipe it with her hair. Now, there are a lot of people in that place Look at Mary and say, You must be nuts. Something is wrong with you. You are insane. But when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon your soul, when the Spirit of the Living God comes upon you, how many of you have been moved by the Spirit of God at times? You don't care whether you are in the marketplace, you don't care whether you're in you just praise him, hallelujah, Lord. You just glorify him, hallelujah, Lord. You don't care who sees you, who is watching. You just magnify God in Jesus' name. And not only that Mary brought out this oil, she began to worship him and began to pursue the feet of Christ and wipe him with her head. Caught the attention of someone. You can take a wheelbarrow and put it in the garage. It's not going to make it a Bentley or a Rose Rush. Whatever it is, you can throw whatever it is and chant whatever it is on it. It's not going to make it. You're going to open the garage. You're going to find that same thing you put in there. Judas was with Jesus. No matter how long he spent with Jesus. No matter how often how Jesus encouraged Judas. Deep his hand the same time with Jesus and trusted with even money so he doesn't get tempted. Given every opportunity in life, is still Judas. Nobody is going to make him to worship. Nobody is going to make him to praise him. For those who must worship God, for those who are ready to worship God, must be ready to worship him in spirit and in truth. And nobody in the time we're in is going to make him. Judas was always there with the others. But in this time, to see after Jesus has already washed their own feet, wiped their feet, did everything, somebody is doing something in return. But Judas said, out of all, We could sell this. Why is she doing this? We could sell this for how many pieces of silver? Just say that. For sin, sin. Everything is about money. Money is good. But the love of money is the root of all evil. Everything is about how extra money we can make. Irrespective of what Jesus is about to do, the cup is about to drink, but his attention is about that. He didn't care that you just raised this man from the dead. But why is he doing that? And Jesus said in verse 7, So leave my Lord. She did this in preparation. For my 
burial. In preparation for my burial. God, the Son of the Living God, the Son of the Living God is about to it's about to go where you and I can go. It's about to take home and to carry the weight you and I can carry. It's about to disarm hell for you and for I. It won't be easy. The least we can do is to wash and marry day. You will always have the poor among you. Jesus. If it's about that, you're always going to have the poor among you. There are always going to be people who are sick. There are always going to be evil all around. But you, you will not always have me. Except for those who seek him with all their heart and their mind. We see what is going on in the world today. We notice every evil all around the corner today. Everywhere you turn to, every place you go to, the abomination of desolation, evil upon evil is ratcheting up. But those who know their God, those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do greater exploits. And this is our moment to worship him in spirit and in truth. Mary did not wait for Jesus Christ to roll into Jerusalem. You have your moment. Don't wait till pastor, somebody call you, let go to church. You got your moment. Don't wait till somebody have to yell and think something about you. This is your moment. Seek him. Worship him. No one knows the hour. No one knows the time. This is your hour. This is your time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Tomorrow might be too late. Mary did not wait to go to Jerusalem. Mary had the opportunity to have Jesus right there. I'm not going to wait till he wrote to Jerusalem for me to bring out my country. But I can do better. I can do better. My alabaster oil. My very expensive oil. The very best I got. I'm going to worship you with it. Knowing that Jesus will not always be the moment I have, I'm going to seek the moment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Many of you know the story. Jesus sent the disciple to go and untie a donkey. And they went, they untied the donkey so that he can roll that donkey to Jerusalem. And I said, why would Jesus go on donkey? It's not fitting for him. It's for the lowest of the lowest class. He is a king of kings. He is a lord of law. Jerusalem is full of horses and chariots. But I said, get the donkey. Get that donkey. Now you've seen many preachers who say, if Jesus was here, he would have been flying in jet. He would have been in this. He would have been riding in this kind of thing. He would have had something into her. He could have been traveling from Jericho to Bethany to wherever. In horses and in chariot. He could. But he was walking on the rocket to the rain many days, many nights to show us it's not about those things. There's nothing that you are going through that Jesus has not been through. 
He was tempted in every aspect. Yes, we have sinned. He could have made things he told worry to buy. But he never did that for himself. He was thirsty. He had to wait on the woman at the well. He could have told the world to spring up so they can drink. They said God who can bring forth river from the desert. He didn't do that. He has to be obedient. And he has to be healed. So that the will of his father can be done. Praise be to God. Never abuse his power. Never abuse his authority. But he humbled himself. Even when it wasn't convenient. He went on the cross. For you and I. Now. In verse 12. The next day. The news. That Jesus. On the way to Jerusalem. Swept through the sea. People heard. People love stuff. Wow. Is that same Jesus you guys have been talking about? Is that same Jesus everybody has been talking about? Is it coming for real now to Jerusalem? People were excited, but some were just there for spectation. You know, they just wanted to just see. Okay, really? They brought out branches, they were doing the same thing others were doing. Laying down, clothes, laying down branches as the king was rolling in. And here they were saying, Praise God. Blessing on the one who's to come in the name of the Lord. Blessing, honor, glory on the one who's to come in the name of the Lord. Hail to the King of Israel. They have no idea. And the reason being, many of us say stuff that we don't really mean. Many of us declare but when the going get tough then all of a sudden people start backtracking I didn't mean it like that I'm encouraging you today help me Lord in this past Sunday I'm closing please I'm encouraging you If you have been the same kind of person that you only celebrate on a special day, on a special occasion, that you don't worship God always, I'm sorry. I don't really think you understand me or you know me. Because there are people that on a day like this, that's when they put on your Sunday best. On Easter, that's when they remember that they're Christian. But what about every other day? We got to worship God. And we got to make it known to the whole world that we are of ease in Jesus' name. And we need to praise Him anyhow in Jesus' mighty name. I have decided, hallelujah, to follow Jesus. I have made up my mind to go, go, to go God's way the rest of my life. I'm not going to wait till it's Easter. I'm not going to wait till it's this time Monday, I'm not going to wait till this Christmas. I'm going to praise Him every day. Every day. Every day. I said, there's no tomorrow in Jesus' name. What you're doing, that doesn't mean. Don't get me wrong. That every day is going to be easy. There are days just to even say hallelujah might be difficult. But I'm going to praise you anyhow. I'm going to praise you anyhow. I'm going to praise you anyhow. Anyhow. I'm going to praise you. Don't let situation or whatever is happening or has happened stop you or make you miss your moment. Praise it. If a woman is not making sense, worship. Because the enemy is looking for opportunity to grind you, to stop you. Keep the oil flowing. Keep the oil flowing. Keep the oil flowing. It won't make sense. But praise him. In other 
going to make sense. Lord, why should I? I will still praise you. When my heart feel overwhelmed, please lead me to the rock that is higher than I in Jesus' name. Your heart is going to feel overwhelmed. But cry out to lead you to the rock that is higher. God did not spare his own son, but deliver him. God did not use other aspects, but deliver his only begotten son for us. Whatever the enemy is meant for evil, is able to turn it around for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Even when his friends deny him, deny him, I don't know him, he's still for me. Even when he was forsaken, everyone fled. They fled, they, nobody was there. He was still God. He was still God. He was God all by himself, with you or without you. And while he was right there in the last moment of mocking him, the same folks who say, Hosanna, they joined the crowd. I told you are the son of God. Why don't you come down? He asked the Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. In the middle of hate or pain, never stop loving. In the middle of tears, see Jesus is a light where there is darkness. Lift your eyes to Him. Help is on the way. Lift your eyes to the King. Jesus, look to the Father. Even when it's not okay, I'm ready to drink the cup. Look to God. He's able to fill you up. He's able to restore you. This Palm Sunday, please make note of whatever your case is. You are not alone. Whatever issue you have, you are not alone. You are not alone. My peace.